Hi friends. Well, I feel like it's Christmas in March because the Caso Action Camera Company, whom I've enjoyed a relationship with for several years, actually you've enjoyed a relationship with them for several years because a lot of the video that I put up is shot with Caso Action Cameras. But they sent me a present, a night vision goggle. And now I have other night vision things. I have a, a, a bird feeders and they will take video at night and they have a built-in light that helps with that. They also have uh, infrared IR technology. I also have a trail camera and you've seen, um, you know, the javelina and the deer and all of those things with my action camera, but it's always in black and white. And what's exciting me about this is full color artificial intelligence can recreate 99% of the accurate color. Uh, let's unbox it and see what we got. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. Full color night vision goggles capture the full spectrum of the night. Reminds me of a line from Phantom of the Opera. The power of the music of the night. Akaso Seymour 200. Full color AI, that's artificial intelligence. Uh, 500 meter zoom clarity. 4K or 2K resolution. And a four hour battery life. Hmm. Oh, nice carrying case. And a 64 gigabyte mini SD card. batteries lithium ion um, 35 watt hours that's that's a lot of battery for a camera and there are two of them so four hours per battery eight hours if you're fully charged what else we got in here a carrying strap Oh, that could hook on to these rings, so you can carry that. A uh, lens cleaning cloth, a charging cable, and an owner's manual. And the main attraction. Oh, wrong way. Place for your nose. Well, I'll have to uh, read up on these, see how they work, get the batteries put in, the memory card, and then we'll have to wait. for dark. I took this picture with my iPad camera from inside my motorhome of the house on the hill. I was learning how to use the Seymour 200 Acaso night vision goggles last night. This is my very first nighttime video with the goggles and uh, there's no light. This is not a headlamp. This is totally dark. If you're not looking through the night vision goggles, what you're seeing is pitch black. My first videos here, I'm learning how to focus and I'm doing okay the camera's doing better. And this is still infrared uh, IR technology. So it's still black and white. Uh, I haven't 
um, done the color yet. And you'll notice I haven't set the date yet. We'll get to the color vision in a moment, but first let me tell you some other features of the night vision goggles. I'm holding the goggles between my knees. Never mind the picture of my shoes. Actually, you can see that it can focus on something really close as well. Um, up in the top left corner, you see some symbols. It tells you if the Wi-Fi is on or off, the microphone is on or off, the uh, memory card is installed, the zoom of the video power from 1 to 16, the infrared from 0 to 7. The thing in the middle there tells you if you're taking a video or a still picture. And in the top right corner, it's set at 4K resolution and the battery power is about 50%. In the lower right corner is a compass rose and in the middle of the screen is a level. Now none of those things show up on the video when you're taking video or a picture, but the date does. You can set it to not do that, but default is the date shows up in the video. It has six buttons, on off, zoom, mode, menu, and sh the shot, turn the camera on or off. They go off in the daytime. They stay on at night. I also figured out that the strap hangs on the camera. Not to put too fine a point on it, but the strap doesn't hang on the camera. The camera hangs up on the strap. I now have it up here on the hill, mounted on a tripod. Okay, I'm back in the RV, and the camera's up there on the hill. I'm impressed. Now we can take a, a photo, picture taken, or we can take video. Record stop. Okay. Love the app. With the app, you can also get information about the device and you get an FAQ. Uh, can I use the night vision goggles for wildlife observation? Yes, absolutely. Are they suitable for filmmaking? Yes. Rock climbing and camping? Yes. What are the dimensions and the weight? Light and portable. Can I download and analyze video footage using the Acaso app? Yes, you certainly can. You can download by Wi-Fi all of your videos or pictures. Full color AI technology restores 99% of colors, even in complete darkness and up to 500 meters away. Capture 4K vintage with a new level of detail and color using four unique color effects and a 3,000 milliamp detachable battery. And see more, capture more, explore more, even in the dark. And now, we'll just have to wait until dark to see the Acaso Seymour 200 Artificial Intelligence Enhanced Color Nighttime Vision Goggles. So, this is a picture from my iPhone 13. And uh, as a matter of fact, the flashlight came on. So it's a little better than my naked eye. Now let's take a look at the Seymour 200 from Acaso. First of all, IR, black and white, And switching to color mode. Oh, yeah. Here's a photo of what you see through night vision goggles. And back to what you would see without them. So... I'm, there's a moth flying around there. 
river. And it's gone. So I'm walking up the road and uh, the light is on on my camera. Here, you can see my feet with the camera. If I go over here by the fence, you can see the lights on on my camera. And uh, I'm going to stop right here and look with the Seymour 200. Uh, switching to color mode, looking up the road. Wow. Now, I need to focus it a little better. Well, I've driven downtown in Sonoida. <laughs> downtown is kind of a misnomer. There's a Dollar General, a restaurant, and a gas station. That's it. And this, of course, is video with my cell phone. Now I'm going to try the Acaso Seymour 200. Put the date correctly, but I set the time wrong. It's actually about nine o'clock at night, and you can see, well, you can, you can see more. Seymour 200. Well, final thoughts on the Acaso Seymour 200 night vision goggles. It's a quality piece of technology. It's not perfect. We'll talk a little bit about that in a second. But um, to me, they're kind of misnamed. They call them full color night vision goggles. I would have called it a full color night vision video camera. And you can see that it took great 4K video when I had it over there on the tripod, uh, taking video of the mountains. Uh, I wouldn't call it 4K video in the dark at night. That's not a result that I can um, go with. Maybe it needs to be 4K to get the quality of video that it does, but uh, the result isn't 4K at night. Um, anyway, like I said, it's not perfect. And one of the things that I found challenging, um, let me rephrase that. There was a learning curve, and I finally figured it out, and oh, that's focusing. In order to focus, it's manual focus. You turn the lens right here, and I had to learn to do it slowly, and like I said, there was a learning curve, and it's one of the things that I found at first frustrating. I learned how to do it. And then I got to thinking about it intellectually. I'm thinking, well, I'm still using these. And I don't have a second thought about manually focusing them when I look from here to there. But let me show you what I'm talking about in a little video clip that I took. So I'm focusing on my shoes. I stopped the video here as I'm editing because it reminded me of another thing. The sound quality of the Seymour 200 could be better. Uh, this is a voiceover you're listening to. And uh, as we go back to the video, you'll see what I mean. And it's difficult. It's very fine tuning the focus. And it's not automatic. So as I then go up here to the tree, it's totally out of focus. And I can manually focus it again by twisting this knob in the front. And eventually, I can dial it in to be focused again. Which, if I was looking at a bird in the tree sleeping, or an owl, or a ring-tailed cat, which we've seen out here before, it'd be okay, but certainly not... Uh, Focusing it on the fly, and now if I go back down here to my shoes, it's out of focus again. To be fair about it, as I'm thinking about the sound quality, perhaps it's not designed to get the voice of the videographer, the voice being right by the microphone and over-modulated. It's designed 
to get the sound of what you're videoing. And as I think back to the white car passing the Dollar General, yeah, much better sound quality. It's designed to get the sound of the owl in the tree. Who knows? <laughs> anyway, back to the challenge of the learning curve with focusing. So I think we've kind of gotten spoiled with uh, cell phone technology and video cameras that automatically focus themselves. And I'm pretty sure that if you want to spend uh, a few thousand dollars, you can get a night vision camera that focuses itself. But that's not the price point we're talking about with the Acaso full color Seymour 200. Another thing that I want to characterize as a learning curve uh, frustrating at first, but then it got better as I got experience. The six buttons, all but the power button, have multi-functions, which means that if you click them, they do one thing, and if you hold them, they do another thing. And, well, it just took me some practice and some learning and some paying attention and concentrating to get that right. So what's my bottom line? A quality night vision color video camera. You can see more in the dark. A lot more. Links below if you're interested. Thanks for watching me today. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.